Hi everyone, Jason from Makeara here with another Carvera how-to, and in this one we're looking at how to use the manual XYZ probe that comes with every Carvera desktop CNC. Now, in most circumstances, you would probably use the wireless Z probe, which is loaded in the automatic tool changer as you try to set your Z heights and origin offsets for your typical projects. The auto Z probe is automatically selected and can be used to determine the thickness or Z height of your stock as well as any deviations in your stock through auto leveling while also running a perimeter through the scan margin features. But in some cases, like when working with oddly shaped stock or when fixing stock with manual positions or fixtures like a vise, or when you might be running a job on two different sides of a piece of stock which requires a flip or rotation, you may find that the more traditional manual XYZ probe is a better way to set your origin positions as you prepare a job on the Carvera CNC. Now, just a quick note that I'm demonstrating how to use the manual XYZ probe using the latest version of the Carvera controller app, which is version 0.9.6. This version has updated the user friendliness of the manual XYZ probe among some other features. If you're using an older version of the controller, the locations of these buttons may vary a bit within the app. The first thing that we need to do is clamp our stock onto the bed of the Carvera. I chose to do this in the second anchor position, but you can clamp your stock outside of the assigned anchor positions or anywhere else on the bed that you'd like to whenever you're using the manual XYZ probe. We recommend that you raise or remove the dust shoe from the Carvera for the manual XYZ probing sequence so that it does not obstruct the tool or probe block. Now we need to choose a tool bit to use for the XYZ probing sequence. A test rod is shipped with the Carvera and is assigned to tool slot six by default. You can use any tool that you would like for this function, as well as any tool slot for the probing tool, but the test rod's parameters are already preloaded in the Carvera controller by default. If you choose a different tool for this sequence, ensure that you know its height and diameter. After selecting our tool with the tool change and preparing the tool head, we need to move the tool head over so it's located above the probing block on our material. In the Carvera controller, use the jogging controls to move the position of the head so it's roughly over the bottom left corner of your stock. Once in position, we can fix the XYZ probe. You can plug the probe block into the side port on the bed of the Carvera and place the block so it's squared up with the bottom left corner of your stock. The magnet wire should be attached to the spindle collet of the Carvera's tool head. Ensure the wires are hanging so they do not obstruct the movement of the Carvera or pull the block out of position. If needed, continue to manually move the head of the Carvera so that the probe tool is aligned within the pocket of the XYZ block. It does not need to be perfectly centered or lowered within the block, just hovering over it. Once the machine tool head is in the right position and connected to the probe, we can prompt the XYZ probing sequence in the Carvera controller app. The sequence can be done from the run and config window in version 0.9.6 and newer. Press config for your work origin and then select set by XYZ probe. Here, you will need to enter the height and diameter of your probing tool. The height of nine and diameter of 3.175 millimeters is the default parameters for the test probe ship with the Carvera. After pressing okay, the Carvera will automatically lower and move the probe to touch the base of the block and the side and front edges in order to find the X, Y, and Z origin points for your stock. These positions are then automatically saved in the controller. Now, depending on your design, you might be done with your XYZ probing sequence and you can just start and run your job. But if you need to offset the position of your design from the work origin, we can go back into the controller and adjust the position based on these XYZ positions that were just stored. After running the manual XYZ probe sequence, I've returned to the config and run window. We can see that the origin of my design file was set to the center, so it's now centered on the position of the XYZ probing sequence. In the config menu for the work origin, I can set an offset based on the current position. When the probing sequence completes, the Carvera head will remain at the origin position for the manual XYZ probe just above the block. Because of that, we can set our offsets for our design from the current position. Once all offsets are set, you can choose to use auto leveling for your stock as well as scan margin before running your job. You should not choose to use Auto Z Probe as this will override the manual XYZ origin positions which were previously recorded. And that's all there is to it. The Carvera Desktop CNC is designed to accommodate a wide range of projects and materials through its versatility and user friendliness. Whatever the circumstance, the different methods for obtaining and setting your stock origins allow you to create just about anything while suiting your own needs and personal preferences. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more how-to videos and guides at the Makeara channel.